Hey, what's up guys? So today what I want to do is run through a, another trick tutorial. And this trick tutorial is essentially how to do an inverted yaw spin. And what an inverted yaw spin, for those who don't know, is, is somehow you're gonna try to get inverted, right? You're gonna apply yaw, a yaw movement, and then you're gonna come out of it. Um, the way that I'm gonna teach you how to do this is probably gonna be the easiest, at least in my opinion, to get some footing in how to do it. Um, so from, from the step perspective, what we want to do is as we're coming into it, right, we want to gain some altitude and then flip, apply the yaw movement and then flip back out of it. And essentially it, what it is, is a 360 inverted yaw. And the way that you know how you did a 360 is that the direction you came in or going towards, I should say, is a direction that you're going to come out of and still go towards. So there's different variations of this movement. Um, there's different ways you could do it. There's different combinations of you could do it. But overall, this is probably going to be a, a good starting point and basis for how to do an inverted yaw spin. Um, so we'll get into the stick cam and hopefully it's helpful. See you guys. Here we go. Alright, so for those who don't know, this is what we're talking about. And that's kind of essentially what inverted yaw is, um, but this is a kind of a 360. So essentially the movement we the direction we're going is the one is the direction we came back in as we performed the inverted yaw. So the first thing I would say is Practice your flips and understanding from a timing perspective how long it's going to take you to come back down. So that is really key to inverted yaw and it's key to not crashing when you do an inverted yaw. So here we go. Just do these back and forth just to understand how much time you have before you hit the ground. So. At the very height of this, we're gonna add some yaw movement. So here we go. So that's kind of essentially it. That's that's re it's really that simple. Um, let's do a few more here. See, we're coming back down the same place that we began, the, the same line that we began. So that's about it. A um, couple things to know, or tips, I should say. 20 seconds. It's all just stick memory. Um, don't rely so much on your feed. Rely on how the sticks feel as you perform this trick. And then memorize that and just keep on repeating it. So. Here we go. We're gonna go up, apply the yaw movement, and come back down with a flip. So here we go. Yaw, flip back into it. Flip back into it. So here we go. Flip, yaw, flip back into it. And that's it. Um, I'm bringing it in because the battery's getting a little low, but that's about it. And it's really, it's the one tip I will say is try to try to understand the orientation simply on stick feel because if you rely on your feed, um, your camera tilt could be misleading. Um, and for those who are who may ask i'm flying at a 25 degree tilt the other tip i would say is um just get used to how much time you have to come back down as you perform this trick because you don't want to crash into the ground um, so those are two things and if that was helpful let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments uh see you in the next one